Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Nintendo vs Sega series. This is your host, the Chilean Retro Gamer. Um, sorry for the delay in terms of, you know, posting new projects. I actually recorded this game that you are going to see now, The Revenge of Shinobi for Sega Genesis. But I had some problems with my microphone. So I actually recorded this game with a shittier headset. And when it was right about to upload this, I fixed it. So I decided to re-record it, now with this microphone fixed. So yeah, I'm playing the Revenge of Shinobi that counts as Shinobi 2. In the year 19xx, the evil crime syndicate Seed was reduced to rubble by the powers of stealth possessed by the Shinobi master Jo Musashi. It seemed as if the world had returned to peace, but three years later. Interesting plots, right? But we have to know what's going on. The world was once again swallowed in darkness. Zed had returned. With an incredible increase in power, much greater than before, Neo Zed became the strongest crime organization ever to exist. Who's this Grandpa Joe guy? After establishing their mighty crime empire, Neil Z turned their efforts towards destroying the threat posed by this who possess the powers of stealth. Well, including Yo Musashi. All of the followers of the power of stealth were attacked and their chief was killed. The chief, with his dying breath, told Musashi that Naoko, his bride-to-be, had been taken hostage by the Neil Z. So, to get revenge for his comrades and bring back Naoko, Musashi set out for the heart of Neo Zed. So yeah, I'm seeking revenge, and we have some Mario-like plot. Because this is how it works. Okay, let's go to the options, because I want to get as many shurikens as I can get. The default is not enough, trust me. Okay. I'll be using seven states, by the way. I'm not that good at this game. Well, towards the end of the game, you will notice that. Not as much at the beginning. So yeah, the gameplay is slightly different from the first Shinobi. You don't have to rescue hostages. I mean, except for the girl, right? But I'm talking about, like, hostages in the actual levels. You know what I'm talking about. In order to be able to exit... Just need to advance and get to the exit. And another change in gameplay is that you can increase your power up by grabbing these POW items from the crates. You can also get extra shurikens, hearts that represent your life that appears at the top of the screen. This thing that looks like scissors are 20 shurikens and the normal ones are 10. Inside the crates you can also find bombs which are traps. They can take a while to explode after a few seconds or they explode in terms of, you know, proximity. So the closer you get, the sooner it explodes. And also you have magics. If you pause the game you can switch the different magics we have in this game. They, or, well, they are called Jitsus. Jitsus of Ikazuchi, which is a shield that allows you to take like five extra hits or four. Jitsu of Karyu, which is a fire dragon. Jitsu of Fushin, I think that allows you to jump higher or move faster, or maybe none of them. I'm just making shit up as usual. And this one, Mijin, which is suicide. I never found the really the, the point to it committing suicide if you don't get to kill your enemy so if somebody knows the whole point of using that magic so yeah this game I think came out in 89 uh, I wouldn't say it's one of the first Sega Genesis games technically it is it has 
pretty similar sounds to Streets of Rage that came out in 91. If you have noticed, the exact same extra life sound. Speaking of that. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the power up. I already got it before, but I lost it. Once you get hit once, if you get hit once, you lose it. But if you activate your shield, as I'm gonna do now, while you have your power up, you are not gonna lose it as long as you have the shield activated. The thing is, or the problem is, you can only use this sh the, the magic, only one magic per world or one per life, once per life, you know. If you die, you can use another magic, obviously. But if you remain alive, you can use only once per world. But they regenerate after you beat the boss. My mom has been texting me for a while. I've been trying to play this video game instead. I guess after recording one video, I will get back to talking to her. That would be fair. There we go. I think that's the exit. Yep. So yeah, this game got eight rounds or big areas with usually two levels and a boss, as you can see. It's very easy, as you can see. You get closer for him to swing his sword. Yeah, that took no time basically because I had my power up activated. Otherwise, it would have taken much longer than that. So let's do round two. I guess a couple of rounds per video will be just fine. I am I am making look this game very easy, but now shit is getting complicated especially this level i'll tell you why i lost my power up because i got hit well i'm recovering this i cannot see some of the shurikens the enemies are throwing at me because of the fucking waterfall so yeah the problem with this level or the problem with this game is the double jumping which is another ability that i haven't showed you yet the problem with the double jumping, and this is when I'm gonna start using service states, is that it's so fucking inconsistent. Well, there you go. Good example, because I did double jump. You probably guys don't believe in me, but I did. I definitely did. Okay. I'm not breaking that crate because I think that's a bomb. And you know, they explode in proximity. That means they will explode right away. I'm saving. I'm not risking shit. So yeah, you can do a special attack when double jumping. It uses up more shurikens though. Yeah, it uses eight extra shurikens. Doing the massive shuriken attack while double jumping. It's worth it. Especially when there are enemies that don't want to move from their position, like this guy, for example. Okay, this is really annoying because, as I told you, the double jump is not consistent. And in this level specifically, as long as a couple of other levels throughout the game, it will force you to use it. Okay, now I got it. It's just a matter of timing, I know, but... It's really demanding in that sense. Okay. The nuns. That's weird. They shouldn't appear in this level. Or maybe they do. I'm just confused. I know they appear in a level later on. Yeah, the nuns are supposed to be female ninjas in disguise. Spoilers! Oh, come on. I mean, it's obvious. Okay, yeah. There are different routes in this area. Preferably... You should be going up and the fucking phone. If, if it's not fucking my cell phone, it's the home phone. And no, I'm not gonna answer. Shut the fuck up. They, I mean, seriously, they, they never call. 
Well, yesterday they called, but they have to wait for me to start recording. That's bullshit. Okay, at least I've been doing fine in here. The thing is, yeah, here we have a problem. I cannot see what's below. Okay, at least I didn't die. Here we have double jump. Or we need it. Actually, I want to keep this power up. And I'm activating the shield because next level should be fighting the boss. Yeah, we are going into the disco. That's where we are fighting the boss. Let me see. Sometimes I'm unable to avoid... Wait, I already lost my shield? That was quick. I'm supposed to be fighting a shallow... I was shooting from a distance, it suddenly exploded. Okay, I think it's a good time for me to end it. So I'll see you later, guys.